Hey viewers, L7 here and welcome to this week's episode of Tech Tuesdays. In today's video we will be taking a look at how to clean the fan filter on the Asus G series uh, Republic of Gamers laptop. Now this is an Asus G75BW, it's the BBK5 version. Uh, this version of this laptop is, or the G series version of this laptop is pretty old, but they all pretty much take apart the same way and they, you can clean the fan filter practically the same on every model. So it's really easy to do. Just have the computer off. Um, there's an application in the computer called the Fan Filter Checker. After every, uh, I'd say, 700 to 1,000 hours of use, uh, open up that program. You know, that's where you can check it. And then from there, um, you can reset it once you clean out the fan filters on this computer. Um, so let's flip over to the back and we have this panel here and this panel up here uh, one of the fans keep the CPU cool and then the other fan keeps the GPU cool so it's really simple to do You're just gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver pop that right in here You're gonna take out this screw And we're also going to take out the other screw here. Now I don't have any nails, so I'm just going to use this. Uh, you don't have to use a knife. You use like a flathead screwdriver. Just got to be real careful if you choose to use a knife. So you can pop off that panel. Same deal applies here. Just pop off the panel. Okay, so the panel's starting to go. Let's open it up. There you go. Take off the opposite panel. Now here's the inside of the G series computer. Um, now again, if you have the newest version, the G751, uh, this may look a bit different. I know some are instead of using SSDs or hard drives, um, they're using some other components. So, anyways. Uh, it's pretty much the same layout. Your fan filter is up here. Here's one. Here's the other one. And you can see I have tape here. I'd recommend, I don't know if they changed it in the newer models, but if they didn't, because um, these would slide around and make like an annoying sound. Also, you wouldn't be protecting the fan or filtering it. So just tape it down. And I'm going to pop off this panel. And you can clearly see there's um, dust accumulated on there. So just get your can of duster spray and you just you know it's pretty easy. Now some people will say, um, people may argue with you on this uh, topic here, but to spray the fans. Um, if you spray it as is, the fans are going to spin. A lot of people say don't do that, you'll damage the fan. Other people say it's okay to spray the fan. Um, there is a good amount of dust on here, and if you spray in this direction, it's just going to blow out, out the vent, so I don't see any harm. So if you do choose to uh, spray out the vent, I'm actually going to because this is really dusty. Just put your finger there so it doesn't spin. And... Just give it a little spritz there. Alright, then we're going to go to the other filter. Try to pop this out. There you go. Real simple and easy to do. This one's covered in dust as well. It's really all you have to do. Uh, again, there's a ton of dust on the actual fan itself, so. Alright, just take some of the dust off there. Now that I'm done, I can just slip over the filters, make sure the tape holds it in place real quick and easy. And we're also gonna grab this one here, slide that back there, reapply the electrical tape. And that's about it guys. Really simple to do. Um, this part here could be a bit of a pain. Just gonna move that out of the way. Just pop that back in and get that in there. This panel's easy. 
Again, if you have a different version like the G55, which is an older version, or if you have the G750, the G751, things might look a bit different, but generally the entire layout of the Republic of Gamers laptop is pretty much the same. You also might have some dust here, so if you want to get some cotton swabs or just lightly brush that off with your finger, there you might have some dust accumulating in here. So this is the other panel here. It could be a bit tough to take it or put back in. All right, the easiest way to get this panel back on is to kind of just slide it in this way. You're gonna get all these grooves here to go in to the where it's held. Once you have that in there, it's pretty easy to just pop everything back in place. So just press down with your thumb. Don't be too rough with it. Don't want to damage anything. And that's it. Pretty simple. It might be a bit difficult at first, but this is the best method of getting this panel back on. So let's wrap things up. Let's put the screw back here. And then it's going to tighten. That's it. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up. Um, from here, just you can turn on the laptop and go back to the fan filter program reset it back to zero hours it's pretty easy and straightforward to do it might be a bit daunting at first but just be careful and follow my instructions and you'll be fine if this video was helpful to you please give the video a thumbs up if you have any questions or concerns uh, be sure to leave them in the comments section below if you'd like to see any more content from my channel be sure to hit the subscribe button this is Zale7 signing out Thank <laughs> you.